In response to growing interest in the prevention of parametric lowering, we have published uh, guidelines on preventive measures against parametric lowering. So in this presentation, I'd like to introduce our new guidelines. Here is what I'm going to talk about. In recent years, several accidents involving container cargo loss have happened due to parametric lowering. Parametric lowering occur in head sea or following sea. Excessive rolling motion could result in the failure of the container securing system, but it is difficult to estimate maximum roll angle for container lasting calculations considering parametric rolling. Rushing calculations do not account for parametric rolling, so it must be avoided by appropriate operation. To reduce the risk of parametric rolling, and ensure the safety of crews and cargoes, there are some measures. Operational guidance in the form of a polar chart is one of the effective tools to avoid the dangerous sea state where parametric lowering is likely to occur. Another approach is the equipment of anti-rolling tank to prevent excessive rolling motion. In order to support the installation and operation, of these software or hardware too, we publish the guidelines on preventive measures against parametric loading in February this year. This guideline is intended to give a class notation for ships with a preventive measure and recommend a practical procedure for preparing operational guidance in the home of a polar chart. First, uh, this slide shows a basic mechanism explanation on what is parametric roaring. This animation makes it easy to make sense the phenomenon of parametric roaring. Simply put, parametric roaring is a resonance phenomenon caused by periodic changes in the stability of a ship in a head sea, a following sea, or a quartering sea. In the worst case scenario, heavy roaring like over 20 or 25 degree can suddenly appear in just a couple of periods and it is difficult to take any action once it happens. In general, parametric rolling is more likely to occur when the natural roll period is in the range of twice the encounter wave period. So it is important to estimate the SIP natural roll period. And and uh, here, it should be noted that the current uh, IS code formula for natural roll period should not be used for especially large vessels as it is estimated to roll. And you should pay due attention to the condition of swells that wave direction is head and the following C, including range of plus minus about 6 degree and wave length is close to the SIP length. Um, uh, estimation of natural roll period is the most important for avoiding parametric rolling. This chart is the natural roll period is uh, GM on the horizontal axis. GM is very critical factor for natural roll period. This is the result of assuming a 14,000 TU, 7,000 TU, and feeder size container ship. Uh, you can see that uh, the smaller uh, the GM, the larger the natural roll period. If GM is small, the risk of parametric rolling increases. Uh, generally, the roll angle would be larger for parametric rolling than synchronous rolling. This slide shows uh, outlines of the guidelines. Functional requirement uh, in chapter 3. Specify class notations according to various preventive measures such as anti-rolling device and operational guidance, including polar chart. A detailed technical background of parametric rolling is provided in the appendix of the guidelines. Especially appendix six present 
the practical procedure for preparing a polar chart based on the extended method of SGISC proposed by Professor Umeda, who is a leading expert in the field of stability. SGISC means uh, interim guidelines on the second generation intact stability criteria by IMO in 2020 for preventing dynamic stability failure mode, uh, which are not covered by the ex existing intact stability code. This method can provide a poor chart for any C state and any loading condition in a relatively uh, low cost. Uh, next, these are examples of class notation to a SIF with parametric role preventing measures. For example, devices for reduction parametric rolling, such as anti rolling tank, a fin stabilizer, a rudder roll a stabilization control system, and uh, operational uh, guidance, uh, polar chart, uh, weather service, uh, wave radar and the alert system is monitoring roll data. In this polar chart example, uh, the radial direction is the SIP speed and uh, a zero degree is fixed uh, at head C and the counters are drawn at the maximum roll angle. Uh, here are example of polar chart. Uh, this is the result of assuming 40,000 uh, container ship using NK ship model. So it is clear that the larger the GM, the less parametric rolling risk there is. A smaller GM is more likely to cause parametric roll at a relatively lower wave height. And uh, in our uh, current situation, uh, we can uh, provide a poor chart for any system and any loading condition, if requested. If we have uh, half home data and uh, uh, ship data, a class NK consulting service will do the calculation and provide a poor chart you requested. Uh, for future service to support operation, uh, we are just trying to develop an API uh, application program interface that can display a polar chart related to C state information through data linkage is onboard navigation equipment and uh, weather routing software. The API allows users to link a polar chart database prepared in advance with C state and SIP information to display a polar chart uh, based on actual condition. So, in response to growing interest in the prevention of parametric rolling, uh, we will support the enhancement of SIP value by granting the class notation to SIPs. Uh, we have published guidelines to state the type of class notation and related requirement. Uh, we have developed uh, a practical procedure for preparing poor chart that clearly indicates the risk for parametric rolling based on the extended method of SGISC and can provide a polar chart uh, if requested. And we are uh, just planning on develop uh, API that can uh, link uh, to the actual C state and the SIP information in real time as our future service. Thank you for your kind attention.